Ten minutes after four, after five o'clock at Atlantic Town. You know what? I was uh, anticipating uh, Justin McKinney and his posse, as Abby called it, uh, coming into the studio uh, around 4.30 or so, something like that. But you know what? It's, it's Rooster County. they got nothing better to do. They're here. <laughs> I'm telling you, we uh, we came up a month early. We've been here for a month. That's how excited we are for uh, Caribou Maine. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, in football, you know, the Patriots they circle a date. They're gonna play like this their their arch rival, or you know, they're gonna a player's gonna play that team that let them go. Right. We circled uh, Caribou a long time ago, <laughs> and uh, we're here. We should say uh, who is here. We also have uh, Jeff Keown uh, is with you. Jeff is gonna be part of the show as well. Yeah, looking forward to it. Love it up here. Haven't slept in days. Just getting ready for the big show. That's it. Slept in days. Yeah, well, he lives with his mother, so <laughs> he doesn't sleep at home, so he wanted to come up early. So you're going to be ripe for yeah. a Saturday show, right? Yeah, we're staying at the Hampton Inn, and we're looking. I'm loving it up there. I got my own pad, a couple days. You never know what can happen. Well, you're staying behind the Hampton Inn. It's not, <laughs> it's not actually in it. <laughs> uh, awesome. So we just wanted to introduce you guys. We're going to talk to you here in, the, in a little while. We're going we're gonna to get some rock and roll going. And um, we're going to talk about the show coming up on Saturday, April 5th, at the Caribou Performing Arts Center. And um, we'll just talk about um, you guys, get to know you a little bit, and that's all coming up, so keep it right here. Thanks, guys, for stopping by anyway. And uh, big show coming up uh, Saturday, April 5th, Caribou Performing Arts Center. Tickets are on sale. Let me mention that before we do anything else. Uh, you can get them in advance uh, in Caribou at the Gulf One Stop, Parody, Shop and Save, and Sleepers. Uh, here in Presque Isle at Bradley's, Aroostook Center Mall in Graves, and at Parody Shop and Save in Madawaska, Fort Kent and Caribou, and at the Tulsa in Van Buren. Get your tickets. It's going to be a good show. Now, I have to say that uh, Josh almost didn't recognize you because we have a poster up in the, Justin, uh, we have a poster up in the front office, uh, and you you got this mustache. You, I had, you don't have the mustache. No, I had the crazy mustache for the show, Dear Moose, Ticks, and Hicks, which is what I'm doing. Right. Uh, all my stories of my time as a, a patrol officer in Maine, rural yeah. Maine. Yep. Um, and uh, I had to shave it for something else. But that mustache, it literally, I had it for about a year and a half. I, I you know, I had grown it, and my wife hated it, first of all. She was like, oh, she's like, I can't stand it. She's like, I can't even be in the same room as you. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, come on. You mean I should have done this five years ago? <laughs> well, look, I could have given you a room show on that one. <laughs> so, there was no way uh, I was shaving it for a while. So I kept it for a while, but didn't work. I had something else I was doing on, t on camera as a pilot, I was, so I had to shave it for that. And yeah. Uh, So yeah, and then I didn't have time to grow it back, so this is, yeah. Let's talk about, real, real quick, because you mentioned that, uh, you know, it's a beautiful segue. Uh, you've done some television, right? And you've done some uh, some film as well. Talk mm -hmm. about that a little bit, just a little bit. Um, well, I mean, uh, my you know stand-up wise, I've had two Comedy Central specials. I yep. did a one-hour special and a half-hour special. Um, Tonight Show, I've done a couple of with Jay Leno. Uh, when Conan O'Brien had the Tonight Show, right? Um, I did that. Um, and television, I've done. Oh, I did. Oh, I did the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. That was on uh, TBS. And yep. I toured with uh, Bill Engvall. Yeah. Um, when they tried to do a Next Generation of that, and we toured down south for a while. Um, I don't know how I ever got on it being from Maine, but uh, you know, I guess I was a cop, I lived in a trailer. Right. So they were like, that's blue collar, right? <laughs> and I did when I was a cop, I lived in a trailer, and uh, this is just a, a side note here, I, my cruiser came home with me, you know, because you know, you might have to go in the middle of the night. We see them all, all around here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, but when I first moved into the trailer park, they didn't know it was, I was moving <laughs> in. They thought like a cop pulled up, so they're all like waiting, a crowd gathered, waiting to see who I was going to come out with. They're like, what's going on? Finally, right, the next day. Somebody's busting yeah. somebody. Yeah, <laughs> well, I go out on my porch and my neighbor thought I stole a police car. You know, he's like, I'm going to like this guy. This is my kind of guy. <laughs> Uh, you know, I need you guys to weigh in. Jeff, you too. Uh, the question of the day in honor of you guys coming was, um, I could, and I opened it up pretty pretty wide. All-time favorite stand-up comedian, uh, you know, present company excluded, um, and also, or, or, or someone that's new that you want to turn people on to, who, you know, who, who do you got, Jeff? Uh, I could say, like, from growing up, my, my first and favorite was, uh, Definitely Eddie Murphy. Yeah. When he did the red suit, delirious. Oh yeah. I and mean, that changed my life growing up. It was it just crazy funny and still works today. Yeah. And uh, you know, it was just like eighteen and nineteen at the time, which doing comedy is just insane. You know, to be I, that young and to control the crowd and have that much confidence. Uh, I, just crazy. I just get crazy. That, I get that, that mixed up. Which it was it delirious or was it raw? Where he was was doing the whole pull over. 
pull over. But I, was that, that must have been wrong. I think that was wrong. That, that was, was like wrong. Purple yeah. suit, yeah. yeah. But that was also great. But Delirious yeah. was killer. So check that out. Yeah, for awesome. Sure. What about you, Justin? I mean, I have to. I mean, I grew up in the '80s too. I graduated high school in '88. Yeah. So uh, Eddie Murphy was the guy. That that too for me as well. Um, and uh, also. Um, you know, Seinfeld was my favorite show. So yep. when I got a little bit older, and Seinfeld was my favorite show, and I really appreciated Seinfeld, which is they couldn't be any more different. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, like, so I liked both of them. Like they were both like it was. But I got to tell you, if you're talking about someone that people might not have heard of, that I think may be the funniest comedian uh, is a guy named Brian Regan. Oh, yeah. he's, he's he's number one on my list. Uh, Brian yeah. Regan. Brian yeah. Regan is really good, and I haven't watched him in over a decade because. I don't watch any stand-up anymore because right. I don't want anything getting into my, into my head, sure. influencing me. I want it all to be my prison, my world, and right. coming from me. But when I ever retire, <laughs> um, I'm going to go back and watch a lot of Brian Regan. Right. Oh, yeah. Brian uh, Regan's one of my favorites. He, I would say Brian Regan is my number one, and right now, number two, uh, Jim Gaffigan. I love Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, Jim, stuff. Jim's very, very talented. Yeah, too. Here yeah. again, haven't seen him in a decade. When I lived in New York City, I'd work with Jim on a regular basis. A good friend of mine, Tom Shalou, opens for him right. on the road all the time. Yeah. Very cool. And we just had a long conversation. Uh, I'm not going to get into what we were talking about, but I do. <laughs> it's a good story, though, right? Yeah, it was great. It's a good story, right? Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I do want to talk about uh, the fact that uh, you moved back to New England from LA because we yeah. were talking about. Uh, your, your TV stuff that you had going on, and, and, and you got married, and you moved back. And so you have kids, yes? I do. I have uh, two kids. Two yeah. kids. So do that does that influence your comedy at all, the wife and kids and family? Do that, does that come into it? or uh, that's, that's why I had them. <laughs> I mean, it, you really run out of stuff. Yeah. And to be honest, I got two boys. I kind of wish one was a girl yeah. so I could do some of that stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah. now I got to dress up one like a girl um, just so I can do the material. But yeah. uh, he'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, he's four. And uh, he likes dresses. Um, yeah. No. So long so Yeah, they do. I mean, look, just the other day, Red Sox home opener. You know, against oh, the yeah. Orioles, yep. right? Yep. And it, I'm telling him who the Red Sox play in the Orioles, and he said the Oriole. He wanted the Orioles to win because it was his favorite cookie. cookie. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah. And then my six-year-old, this surprised me out of the blue. He asked me if the Tooth Fairy was gay. Yeah, really. Which shocked me because a week earlier he found out I was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> so you know what I mean? I'm always, I'm like, oh, I guess your mother would say he has some tendencies. <laughs> What am I supposed to say to that, you know? Um, they grow up fast. <laughs> I want to get Jeff in here a little bit. Yes, uh, he's Jeff is a big winner, by the way. He just won a contest down yeah, in Boston. Winning. and he's yeah, Right, time. it's like my cousin's contest. Uh, O'Brien's uh, comedy contest uh, down there. Yeah, actually, it was a few months back. I won it, and uh, it was pretty cool. You know, first place prize is I get to open up for the great Justin McKinney, which is a cool prize, right? So it's like a low-budget contest? <laughs> well, well the, they didn't tell me that prize also <laughs> included me... Uh, Driving to his house, picking him up, and chauffeuring him up to uh, Caribou, Maine, for the uh, for the big gig here. And uh, second prize was a thousand dollars. So, 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 so you so toss up yeah, which one you wanted. Was, uh, it was pretty. But for the record, Jeff's a good driver. Yeah. Yeah. And you had to put up with his music choices all the way up. Yeah, right? the the bad music, and yeah, it was uh, and, and running jokes off me and stuff like that. Yeah, and no, it was fun. And was fun. I did split the tolls with you. Right, there was only two two tolls, but I split them. Right. Uh, so this weekend show, uh, Saturday at the uh, Caribou Performing Arts Center, is the uh, is the Deer Ticks Hicks show. Deer and Moose Ticks and th Hicks. There it is. Yeah. Real stories. The Rule Patrol. So can can we get into anything? Uh, you know, because a lot of this this show is based on your experiences as a deputy yes. sheriff, right? Yes. Uh, yep. So you know, can you elaborate on that a little yeah, bit? Yeah. I mean, sure. I mean, you know, basically, it was a really uh, poor police department in the '90s. You know, budget cuts. Yeah. I mean, I uh, I once had a prisoner. I I needed them to chip in for gas, actually. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it, literally, my cruiser had two hundred fifty thousand miles on it wow. when I when I got hired. You know, and uh, I remember I pulled a guy over uh, because you know he goes. You know, I go, you know, I stopped you. He's like, no, I'm like, my car's overheating. Um, do you have any coolant or anything like that? And like, I might need a lift. Can you just hang out here uh, for a little while? Um, and it was, it was, it was crazy. I mean, I remember I had no crime scene tape, you know, to rope off a scene. Right. You know, I had like an old guy died on the porch and I had to like rope off the scene because people were trying to get up on the porch. You know, everyone's coming over when the police are involved. Everyone wants to get close. You know I mean? I, I'm trying to do crowd control. It's only one cop for 14 towns, right? One, one, two of us rather 14 towns. I got seven towns a piece. I got to rope up the scene. There's no crime scene tape. So I asked the family if they had anything like, you know, like tape or something like that. The only thing they had was like a roll of that crepe paper. You know, like the streamer. It said congratulations on it. You know what I mean? So there's like a dead guy. It looks like I'm throwing him a party. And I'm like, 
<laughs> you know, and then I had to take photos in, uh, of the scene, you know, and they didn't give us a camera. They never supplied us with a camera, so you bought a lot of your own equipment. So I had to take pictures uh, with my own personal camera, you know, and like we didn't have a crime lab. I'd have to go to Rite Aid to get them developed. And like, so I'm just picturing the guy looking through the films, like looking at the pictures. It goes from like, you know, my brother's graduation party is on the roll, and then like guy, dead guy on porch. It's like, wow, this party turned ugly. You know, they were so happy in the beginning. Um, you know, back that was back showing my age with the rolls of film. But right. They don't have that anymore, kids. <laughs> Uh, Justin McKinney, Jeff Keown, uh, this Saturday, April 5th at the Caribou Performing Arts Center. Get your tickets in Caribou at uh, Golf One Stop, Parody Shop and Save and Sleepers uh, in Crescala Bradley, Silver Stick Shutter Mall, Grave Shop and Save, and the Parody Shop and Save in Madawaska, Fort Kent, and Caribou, and at the Tulsa in Van Buren. More with Justin and Jeff here in just a couple of minutes. Also, look at your forecast. Give it here. On Saturday night, April 5th, tickets are available. Let's sell this puppy out. Uh, so you guys, I know, we, Justin, you're like Kevin James' best friend, King of Queens, right? Something like that. I've been in this pool once. <laughs> <laughs> so you, but you've done TV, you've done film and stuff like that. So uh, do you have a problem going out? Do you have to go out on the street in disguise or anything like that? Do you get recognized? Or? I don't know if I'm, I'm quite at the level where I need a disguise yet. <laughs> yeah. um, but something did happen to me uh, recently. I was in a. Uh, this kind of sums up my my career, uh, my situation. I was in a coffee shop with a buddy, and out of the corner of my eye, I see these two guys off to my left, and the one guy's like looking at me. I see him looking at me, and then he leans into his buddy, and he goes, that's Justin McKinney over there, right? So his buddy turns around, looks at me, leans into his friend and goes, who's Justin McKinney? <laughs> so that's pretty much the deal, okay? I've got like 40 or 50 die-hard fans, and they're out there, and they might even drive up tonight. You know, they might even they might even make the six, seven, eight hour trek, <laughs> whatever it might be to get up here. Uh, you know what we haven't done, and I don't I don't know if you want to do this or not, but we should uh, direct people to your website. Uh, you know, in case people sure. want to check out yeah, know, some of your stuff. Yeah, the stuff on YouTube, uh, but justinmckinney.com. It's Justin with an O, J U S T O N McKinney.com. There's um, a bunch of clips up there, and yeah. actually, Comedy Central's website too has a lot. A lot of my Comedy Central special, yeah. I can't put that on my website because of through YouTube and all that. You know, ownership, Viacom, and all that. Right. But if you just school Comedy Central jokes, I get a whole bunch of stuff that plays on Comedy Central from my specials. What about uh, Jeff? You got anything, Jeff? Well, I had jeffkeon.com, but I never paid like the bill every year, so now it's it's for like psoriasis cream or something. I don't know, but it, it is it is up there. But I don't know what it is, but Facebook and all that stuff. And he had, you have that sex tape. Yeah, uh, if you Google uh, Big yeah. Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, big four Jeff. seven seven. The big Jeff in heat. Um, he's eating a crustable. Oh, it's, it's great. Uncrustable. Yeah. Oh, uncrustable. <laughs> oh, uncrustable. Get it right. Yeah. What is that? It's like is that it's like a pop crust. tart with a? What is that? Creation. <laughs> he's driving around eating these things. I'm like, he's gonna get a heart attack in there. No, 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 Jeff. What's he eating? What's this what's guy? Oh, he's eating flaxseed and all this stuff. I don't even know. Like Chia bird seeds. Food. And well, I'm on this special diet right now because I got high cholesterol. Right. Doctors like you got to avoid fat. I'm like I'm 137 pounds. I'm going to die of starvation <laughs> if I don't eat fat. I'm like, I need fat. But, yeah, I'm on kind of a weird diet. Yeah. Yeah, when we go on the road, I'm always starving. It's crazy. It's like, <laughs> you, you, we can't get a meal. It sounds, like a, get a, decent it sounds meal. like a horrible life. You're on the road for eight hours eating crappy food and listening to crappy music. <laughs> it's well, rough. He's wishing he came in second place in that contest. <laughs> he didn't have to drive me up here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> ah, Justin McKinney, uh, Jeff Keown in the studio. Got a big show coming up. I keep saying that. Got a big show coming up, but it is a big show. Caribou Performing Arts Center, Saturday night.